So, today I would like to give you some details on what it is like to study in China for one month. So I came to China to improve my Chinese level and so through my university back in Canada, I went on this program all the way to Harbin, China for one month to improve my Chinese levels. So this university's name is Harbin Institute of Technology or Hagongda and uh, they are known for teaching standard Mandarin um, and they are really good at it apparently. So thumbs up for that. And the best part is that by doing this course, I can actually get six credits at my university, which is the equivalent of two classes. So for one month studying Chinese, I get two classes worth of credits. And it actually ended up being uh, cheaper than two classes at my university. So before I actually get into talking about the classes and all of the content related stuff, I really want to show you guys what it's like at the campus and what it is like at the dorms and that kind of thing. So I'm quickly going to show you my impressions of all of that. So on this little campus tour, I just want to show you guys just some of the popular places that we went to, um, where our classes were, uh, where we bought things, that kind of thing. So just over there, you guys can see is the uh, the basketball court. That's right in front of the dorms, but we're going to kind of go on like a little bit of a circle. I want to show you guys around campus first, and then we'll come around back to the dorms afterwards. Over here, you guys can kind of see, like, this is the hub of where everybody comes because the market is here, the pharmacy is right here, and this is the supermarket. So this is where when you first come to Harbin, you will essentially go and um, buy everything you need, and it's where you get your, your, like, your food and everything. So this is what it looks like on the inside. They have a lot of different kinds of shops. You can get, like, bubble tea, and then, like, the actual market market is just, like, there. And this is a main street. This is where we all walk sometimes. And this is the other side of the main street. And we will walk just over that way. And so this is an area where essentially uh, everybody would go to eat. Right now they're doing renovations here, literally as of two days ago. So you won't really see it in its liveliness, but normally those blue uh, chairs and stuff, they would be kind of like spread out along the way. Now this is a building where we had our registration and also a few of our classes because our classes would move from one building to the next um, but it's also a dormitory so it goes pretty high up and a lot of the Thai students stayed in this one. Okay so this is the cutest little car where uh, in the mornings this one lady she makes some beautiful little foods and you can come and pick up your breakfast from here. Um, for example Ricky this morning got his breakfast from the Sunshine Breakfast car. Now this place let me tell you is a very well visited place for me okay. So this is what it looks like. However, I think they're like, oh, they're still open. So just over there is where you would go to basically pick up um, your packages that you purchase. So this is this is the place where I have been uh, coming to quite often because I just buy a lot of things on Taobao, okay? It's a lot of fun there. You can buy anything you want. We have returned to the other side of the basketball court. We've just been going in a circle, okay? We just came from that direction and now we're going this direction. As we walk next to the basketball court, just on this side over here is our well-visited friend. His name is Baozi, which means Chinese buns full of delicious meats and vegetables. We would also get our regular doujiang, which is like a bean milk. So as we turn the corner and the basketball court is now on this side, our dorm is just across and it is that lovely building, me and Hannah are on the 13th floor, somewhere up there, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, Liu Shui Xiong Gong Yu, which means International Student Apartment. Welcome to my humble abode. We have a convenience store. Me and Hannah are on the 13th floor, so we're pretty high up, which is kind of fun. But there's not much to like what the dorms actually look like on the inside, but I'll, I'll show you anyways. So after leaving the elevator, there's one way. There's the other way. And this is our humble abode. This is our common area. Yes. This is our roommate's dorm. Yes. This is our dorm, but I'm not going to show you that right now. And here's the bathroom. So that's like a hot water tank. Here you got your shower. 
There's like no like separator for the shower and the, and the toilet area, I guess. You just kind of live with what you got. And this, this is our view. It's actually quite nice, to be honest. Yes, we enjoy it. We have a good view for when it rains a lot. Um, that road right over there kind of floods a little bit, so kind of entertaining to watch cars go up and down it when it's raining really hard. Okay, so now getting into the details of the classes and such, we actually had about two days before classes actually started to do whatever we wanted to. So we just kind of, you know, did whatever. And then we had registration. So at registration, we paid our tuition, we um, got Wi-Fi, we set up any electricity, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and we gave them whatever kind of information they needed, uh, passport stuff, literally all of the registration stuff. Okay, that's it. Um, but I did record a bunch of stuff on my first day of classes um, that I'll show you guys now because that was kind of a role Coaster. Um, I've just completed day number one of classes and so let me just describe to you the structure of my classes. I'm taking Chinese language classes and they go from level A, which is the beginner, B, C, D, and E, okay? So we have to do a test to get in. So we did that a few days ago at our registration and I went in for the test and like my speaking was I, I guess because I got into E. But let me tell you, I do not know the vocabulary. Realistically, my level is C, like my vocabulary, my grammar. What I know is C. All of my friends got into D, so I was I was doing this and let me tell you guys, it was not easy, okay? It was very difficult. And so halfway through the class, uh, I decided to go and try out D. So I went to the D level class. And now I'm just a little bit in a pickle because E is just way too hard, D is a little bit too easy, and so do I want comfortable with the option of learning lots of vocabulary, or do I want to push myself to no end where I will literally almost maybe not understand a single thing, um, but also learn a heck ton of a lot because in one month of not understanding anything, you come to understand quite a, quite a bit more than you might think, right? So I feel like that's the way I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards that E level. So today's just gonna be like a day of studying and literally just studying. Anyway, my point is, is that I'm just a confused little bean right now and hopefully life will get better and I will understand the structure of the courses and hopefully push myself and survive in the next three and a half to four weeks of this learning. Thank you for listening. So classes typically start at 8.30 a.m. and go until noon and they're split up into two sections. So one of them is supposed to be for like writing and the other section is supposed to be for speaking. However, essentially they're actually like the same. It's just we have two different teachers because we do pretty much the same kind of stuff just in the different teaching styles of the teacher. So essentially it was one lesson per day and we would first go through vocabulary and then we would read a textbook dialogue. Then we would answer the questions that the teacher had for us about the textbook dialogue and then do any kind of skits or presentations that the teacher set up for us. So that was essentially the structure of the class and I think it was really helpful. Um, you guys will kind of see here that um, my uh, skit presentations are kind of uh, dramatic. <laughs> it's break time. What's your YouTube channel? That's really Jen. Are you going to subscribe? I'm going to yes. subscribe. If I see quality content, I'll it's all about China. Content. It's not quality. Okay. You're in the vlog. Hello, last class, how do you feel? I feel super excited and tired. 
Yeah, Same. <laughs> so that was kind of what it was like to be inside of the class. And that was just like me participating in the class. So I hope you found that a bit entertaining. But my advice is if you're, if you're planning on like taking any kind of like language courses abroad, I think something really important for every class is just preview it because in my case, I got put in a little bit of a higher level than where I should be. So I didn't know some of the words that were in the dialogues or something. So it's always good to just like preview those lessons and just so that you know like like what words are and stuff so that you actually understand what's going on in class because I think that's just very uh very important. This program actually offers a little bit more than just classes. They also have a lot of other things such as like we went on a few class field trips to like malls. Uh, we had class lunches uh, and we did like this one day of like sports activities that was really random. There's like tug of war and stuff. That was honestly really random and they put all of the classes together for that one. So we had like the five level A classes, we had B, C, D, and E classes all there. Yeah, that was a, that was a lot, but it was a lot of fun because it really kind of shows you how you can like get to know other people too, other than just learning Chinese. But the thing that I felt really, really grateful for was actually just making the relationship with the people inside of my class because we were all super friendly and super, super supportive of each other when we're in class. And we also had a few times where we just all went out on our own, like not an organized activity or anything. We just all said, hey, let's go out for lunch. And we all just went out for lunch and just had a good time. And uh, we had Korean ones, we had hot pot, we, we tried um, brain. When you come to Hot Pot with eight people, you just have to guess at what it's all saying. So we just guessed at everything and uh, we don't know what's going to come to us. We accidentally just ordered brains, um, but we had to cancel that real fast. I'll tell you that for free. Do we even know what we ordered? No. Nope. The sausage. They're the sausage. Hey. We got brains. Hey, we got hey. brains. You're going to try the brain? Yes. Are you going to try the brain? Uh, yes. Jayo. Yes, Jayo. Uh, and you too. Jayo. Jayo. Okay, everyone's trying. Yeah, everyone's trying. Yeah, everyone <laughs> there's one, two, three, there's eight. Oh. <laughs> Here is trying a brain. We don't know what brain it is. <laughs> and it falls. <laughs> oh. Mm. I want sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's more. I don't Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. Give it to Michael. Did Did you know? Know? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this thing. Ah! 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 That texture is just a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> now that's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I just think that the people in my class, I got really lucky because we were all like really close. And uh, it's, I think it's really important just to make relationships with people that you're gonna be spending your time with. So that was really awesome. What's kind of cool is that we all have each other on social media now, like Facebook and Instagram. And uh, it's gonna be nice because that means just in the future, I can kind of see what they're all up to. And I know some of you guys are gonna watch this video and just know that I already miss you and I haven't even left Harbin yet. So just a reminder. Also, I feel like I need to mention that I got so lucky to be put inside of a dorm with one of my BFFs. And it was a, seriously super entertaining because every single day for like a month, 24 hours a day, I am with this girl, okay? So we would essentially go to class, we would come back after class and have a nap or like go for lunch first or whatever. And then we would go to a cafe to study. And then in the evening we would maybe like order some food or something. Yeah, honestly, it's super entertaining because we're just doing everything together. And for some reason we haven't gotten sick of each other the entire time. So I think we got really lucky there. And I think that when you're like with someone, you won't feel lonely. So it's good because when you're away for, from home, like where all of your friends are, all of your family is, then it can be hard or it can be, it can be easier to get lonely. Um, but luckily we kind of like were home for each other because we're both here. So that was awesome. And it's cool when your parents aren't around and stuff and like you can do anything you want essentially. Like, I don't know if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, which by the way you should, it's at that's really Jen. I posted a photo. I was literally just wearing pajama pants outside because I was going to study and uh, 
It's quite exhilarating knowing that you can wear pajama pants outside and no one will judge you. So today is actually our graduation ceremony. And so how about we go and do that together? Because I think that would be kind of fun. Let's go celebrate being done the course. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment down below. What videos you want to see from her? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 YouTuber. <laughs>